My name is Kristen Bauer and I'm in the 11th grade. I'm representing the Beulah FFA chapter in the state of North Dakota and my SAE is Farm Chicks to Go. My SAE is in the Agricultural Education Pathway. So to start off, we're gonna kind of unbox the kit a little bit. I make incubator rental kits and I rent them out to classrooms and households. And it's a one month rental, so the first three weeks, the students are experiencing incubating the chicks and it'll show you inside the egg at the chick developing. And then the last week they get to experience the chicks hatching and raising the chicks. And then after the rental is over, I take all of the chicks back to my farm. So anyone can experience hatching chicks for themselves without having to have the setup or the money to raise full grown chickens. I wanted to start a chicken kit of my own because at this point in time, I had just started hatching my own chicks and I wanted to share the experience with as many people as possible. So that's kind of how I came up with the idea, and then I did a bunch more research and got everything that I needed to do it and started advertising. I got the resources to start my SAE from various different places. Um, I got the money to do it from selling my eggs for my chickens, and I bought all the supplies and assembled the kit. On the daily, on a rental day, I would have to assemble my kit, put all of the supplies in the tote, and collect the right eggs for the rental. And then on a pickup day, I would collect all the supplies from the school, put it back in the tote and take it home, and then clean it all up to get it ready for the next one. Typically for um, chicks, you would have a heat lamp to heat them because they have to be at about 90 degrees for the first week. So to keep them warm and to keep students safe in the classroom, I had to find an alternative to the average heat lamp because they are a big fire hazard. So I had to do a whole bunch of research to find a safe alternative to put into my kits. I love being in roles of leadership and I love public speaking more than I ever thought I would originally. For a long time I was a really quiet person and I never wanted to really engage with anybody. And through my SAE I've learned that it's okay to step out sometimes and being a leader is a really fun thing if you just be confident and go for it. Over the years my SAE has changed quite a bit. When I started it, I ended up doing a trial run with one of my friends so I could see what I needed to fix and how I needed to change it to make it better for a classroom. And I was able to learn different things that I needed to have included in the handbook I wrote and some more items that I should have in the kit to make it better for elementary school children. My favorite part about my SAE is getting to watch the joy on students' faces when they see chicks hatch for the first time. I also enjoy seeing the teachers get excited as the chicks hatch and the teachers almost get just as excited as the students do so it's exciting watching how chicks can have an effect on not only the young students but adults as well.